<laughs> okay, so I was speaking to someone who is experiencing fear uh, when doing feeling the feelings and uh, he's also experiencing yes, experiencing, I think it's experiencing fear with the inner child, some fear arising from the inner child. So the way I would do, um, <clears throat> so feel the feelings is to allow the experiencing of whatever energies are present uh, without any form of labeling or mentalization. And the labeling or the mentalization shall we say, could be thoughts, or they could be um, attaching to images, or concepts, or if you want to use uh, Jung's expressions, attaching to archetypal expressions, just to let any type of imprint or form go, to just allow the experiencing of energies in the moment. So. So if, if you're feeling the feelings, so certain things may suddenly arise in consciousness. Let's say um, you're, you're fe feeling the energies. Now, I'm using dualistic languaging. There is no you feeling the energies, because if you let go of labeling, or if you let go of thought, then automatically there is no you feeling the energies. It's just energies that are allowed to be experienced in consciousness because the dualistic, uh, the dualistic, illusory, uh, dualistic experiencing of a me feeling energies is only coming out of attachment to thought. So if that attachment to labeling and thoughts uh, is released, then there is just the experiencing of energies. So each time you feel, each time I, I say feel the feelings, as you're letting go of labelling, it's not really a you feeling the feelings, it's just an allowing of energies to be experienced. And it becomes almost like, each time you do it, it's not like the ego is trying to feel the energies, but it's like a welcoming in consciousness, which is like an intention or a spiritual intent, which allows whatever energies to be experienced without... Because if there is attachment or identification with thoughts, the I, the little I, exists. So there is an ego trying to feel the energies. But as soon as there is identification with thought, that is resistance to experiencing the energies. Because now, uh, so if experiencing of energies happens without attachment to thoughts, there is less resistance to allowing the energies to be experienced. Now, Let's say that one is uh, allowing the energies to be experienced and one is letting go of the labelling. Now the, the ego can come up, the ego may arise in the individual uh, as thoughts, it may arise as images, it may arise as archetypes, it may arise as sub-personalities. Um, now all of these are of what I would call form. So an archetype is a type of form that's held within the ego. Male, female is a type of archetype. Uh, the child, uh, the adult, the parent are all archetypal forms. Uh, you have various other archetypes as well. So they could, they could arise as images or, or belief systems. Um, so as they arise and, you're, and one is doing the feel the feelings, one is to let go of attaching to those representations. So uh, let's say the child was coming up, or images of the child, or senses of the child, it would just be to let go of attaching to that, just so that uh, the energies can be experienced. Now, fear may, may arise, and the fear is, can be the fear of the ego, of the ego vanishing. As it starts to lose identification with thoughts and the repressed energies that, you know, the repressed energies are the things which hold the various archetypes and subpersonalities and aspects of the ego alive. 
So if you allow those to vanish by not identifying them when the repressed energies are, are being welcomed and, and, and then are vanishing in the process, then all the, all the archetypes and the belief systems are vanishing with it. Hence fear and terror may arise um, when doing the process. And again, if fear and terror arise uh, when doing uh, the field of feelings, is again to just allow the experiencing of that and not to attach to thoughts or images or sub-personalities. And in that process, everything that's held within the ego will start to vanish and disappear. It's also possible, if you keep doing the process, that um, the final gateway may open. Uh, the final gateway is when the extreme terror arises that if you experience this terror, the ego will no longer exist after this. Um, if that arises, that's a, that's a doorway to enlightenment. And I would recommend not to attach to thoughts uh, or feelings and to just allow yourself to go through that uh, to, experience, uh, to experience enlightenment, uh, as all enlightened teachers would have you go through that. Hawkins himself said it's safe to go through and that all fear is illusion, so you can, you can, you can go through that. Uh, just to talk a little bit, bit, a bit more about field of feelings, so all you're doing is don't allow any, don't attach to any thoughts, so there's no you doing the process, don't attach to any images. If, if any images or, or sub-personalities or archetypes of child or adult or parent arise, don't attach to those and just allow the energies just to be experienced. The intention of it is just to welcome, energetically to welcome and allow any energies. Now I know some people leave certain aspects of their ego, like trying to orchestrate the process. If there's an aspect of your ego trying to do it perfectly, or trying to make sure things happen, or that there's a you there, let that go. Um, and then eventually the process will happen automatically through grace. Any energies, and it's like all these repressed energies will come up in divine order to be released. And no mentalization or archetypes or anything is needed because all of those would be uh, resistance. Through doing the process, it's like layer after layer will be felt out and even more subtle layers will be revealed, which can be felt out. Um, if there's any form of limit to the experiencing, as you get to more subtle layers, you may see that you're quite expansive. If you become expansive, you can, the expansiveness will have a boundary, so you can feel out the boundary until uh, there is no form left. So one becomes that which is limitless and eternal, uh, beyond time, beyond archetypes, beyond child, beyond parent, beyond sub-personalities, beyond all form. So it's to keep that process. The more you do the process, grace will take over so that each time you do it, there'll be less and less ego present and it'll be more like a process of grace just washing out any repressed energies that still need to be washed out.